right, back in with three point perspective. Um, this one is going to be a worm's eye view. So obviously worms are on the ground. They're gonna be viewing a building from low. It's gonna be big at the bottom, small at the top. I always do worms eye view with the castle because it kind of makes the castle look like big and colossal, okay? Um, and it works better for like one building, I feel like. Okay, so since we're gonna do a worm's eye view, remember our horizon line is our eye line. The horizon line is gonna be near the bottom. So I'm gonna start out with a horizon line like right about down here. I do like to leave myself maybe just a little bit of room at the bottom on this one because I bring the castle a little bit below it. Um, you have to bring the castle below the horizon line on this one because we don't want to be seeing the bottom of the castle. Um, unless you're doing a floating castle, which if you want to try that, good for you. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw in a couple of horizon or vanishing points here. I can't draw very good with my um, stylus here. I'm just going to draw them in with Expo. All right, from this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in, um, again, my center of my building, my center line first. Remember that has to go to vanishing point three, okay? <clears throat> vanishing point three doesn't need to be exactly in the middle, um, but I am gonna put it just somewhere near the top. I have a lot of details I wanna draw on this castle, so I'm gonna put it really high up there, like flags and things, and all those things need to go up to that top vanishing point, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna draw in a line from vanishing point three. This is going to be the, um, the center of my building. So I'm just gonna connect it with my vector point. Oh, you know what? I lied, I'm gonna do my ruler. <clears throat> so line your ruler up with vanishing point three. Draw a line, okay? Um, that's going all the way from vanishing point three down below. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide how high you want your first level of your castle. Um, you could have like one, two, or three levels on your castle that are all different heights. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda select a point. I think my first level is gonna be kinda low, kinda like this. And then I'm also gonna connect the bottom to both vanishing points, please. So I'm gonna take this guy to the left, that guy to the right. You know what, I'm just gonna use my vector on this one, guys, you use your rulers. <clears throat> that guy there, at this point we're looking like a big old kite, and that's good. Now, if you were doing two point perspective, remember you just throw in some verticals, right? Three points, there are no verticals. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go from vanishing point three, I'm just gonna go all the way up there with my lime green and go all the way down to the bottom. I am not stopping at the horizon line, okay? The horizon line and the bottom of my building are two different things. The bottom of my building is lower. Your bottom of your building should also be lower, okay? All right, so this is the bottom of my building, that sort of box that emerged on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and outline that in black so you guys can see it. So I'm just gonna outline this form here. The rest of this could essentially be erased, okay? On the city, when you guys did the practice sketch with the city with me, um, I left in that ground line because I was going to use it on other buildings. However, for this one, I only have one building, okay? Um, the only reason you might want to leave it in is if you plan on doing anything next to this. Like if you want to do like a little um, like a little building next to it, maybe it's like just like a side building on the castle. Maybe you want to do like a big old fence. Uh, so if you, if you think you might maybe want to do anything next to it, just go ahead and leave that bottom line in, okay? Um, but the rest of these five could be erased. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add on a second level to my castle. If you wanna go on and add third and fourth levels or whatever, you can do that. Um, so for my second level, I'm actually not gonna use this same center line. I'm gonna draw in a new center line, okay? Um, I'm just gonna do this in the black. I'm not gonna end up with any excess. I'm just gonna make this level as high as I want it to go, okay? So that's as high as I want my second level to be. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it down to the left and right vanishing points. Um, I would not recommend going wider than the base of your building on this, okay? Now mine's gonna end up kinda narrow, so in the future, if this becomes an issue for you and you're not ending up with enough space on that second level, what you might wanna do is you might wanna make your bottom of your castle really wide so you have plenty of room to work with, okay? The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw two lines down from my top vanishing point. I already had a line there from my green from earlier. So line up with the top, draw my edges. Remember, there are no verticals. All of these lines are coming from vanishing point three. Okay, all right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start drawing some details on the castle, um, such as doors and windows. <clears throat> Another thing I wanna show you guys how to do is how to draw like those like turret kind of things that go up and down on the top so that like archers can go through them. Um, you know what, they're really hard, but let's start there. Let's, let's do that first, then we'll do windows and doors. Um, so the first thing on my castle I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in, let me draw these in, in, in the green color. 
because some of this is going to get erased, okay? So draw lightly, guys. Anyway, I'm going to come from vanishing point three. I'm going to draw a line <clears throat> just a little bit below the top of my second level. I'm going to, wherever that left off on that center line, I'm going to continue from there with a line down to the right. So basically those guys should meet at the corner. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do a series of lines from my vanishing point three, okay? So from vanishing point three, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do, I need to do an even number of, of spaces in here. So it needs to be two lines or four lines that I'm drawing in, okay? So let me start with a line here. That's one, two, three, four. And the reason you need an even number is because some of these are gonna stay, some of these guys are gonna go, all right? So like this line's gonna stay, this top one's gonna get erased. This line's gonna stay, this top one's gonna get erased, that line's gonna stay. If that makes any sense to you. I'm gonna try and draw that in. Maybe I'll even zoom you guys in a little bit. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. <clears throat> okay, all right. Um, so let me get rid of those X's. Actually, maybe I'll leave the X's so you remember which ones are getting erased. Um, I'm gonna take my pen here and I'm going to attempt to draw in some really, really tiny black lines on there. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to trace this bottom area, trace this bottom area, but the top area will get erased, okay? So then, oh, you know what? I also have to trace my red lines too. I almost forgot that. All right, I'm gonna try and erase these guys so you can kind of see what it's looking like. So you can see how these bottom areas look darker. I just need to erase a little bit on the top and then I'm good to go. Okay, let's do that tiny little eraser. Hopefully this works. Ah, no, I did the big eraser. Come on, I wanted the tiny one. Whew, okay. Little guy, I want the little guy. Hello, okay. All right, let's see if this works now. Seriously, what is your problem? All right, guys, I'm not gonna erase that one because apparently I can't erase it. Um, it will not let me select the small eraser. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you guys that you would erase this area and erase that area, all right? Um, on the next one, you do the same thing. You start with an even number of lines, so it doesn't matter if you just have two. Um, like if you only have enough room to do two from vanishing point three, that might be all you have. <clears throat> you'll erase that line, keep this line, and then you'll kind of see the design go up and down. So let me trace it in like this so you guys can see what it would look like in the red. <clears throat> so that's what the edges should look like, okay? I'm actually, I think I could fit some more in there, so I'm gonna do four really quickly. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my four lines from vanishing point three. And I actually have a little bit more room to work on this side, which is kind of nice. Three, four, okay. So there's my lines from that vanishing point. Remember that I'm going to um, I'm going to keep the line on the bottom on every other one, and I'm going to keep the line on the top on the opposites. Okay? You want to make sure that you have an upward point on the outside edge, though. You don't want a downward point on the outside edge. Okay? So like these guys would meet in the middle. I'm going to do a big version over here so I can show you how to make these guys 3D too, because that's our last step. Okay? So there's what the top of my castle is looking like. Of course, you'd still have this center line coming down through the building. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we are going to take some of these corners down to the opposite vanishing point, okay? So basically on this one, I would take these two corners, just one, two, down to my right. And on this side, I'd take one, two, down to my left, okay? So then it's gonna end up looking something like this. These guys go down to the right, these guys go down to the left. And of course on this one, I'm just guessing, but in, in real life, you wanna actually line your ruler up with the opposite. So then um, I can like kind of shadow these guys in so you can see that this is like the edge or the side getting less light. Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like. Of course, my green marker is dying, um, but yeah, there you have it. <clears throat> Let me trace these in red so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Okay, um, so on this one, I'm gonna take these guys, line them up to my bottom left. Just two corners, that's all I need to do. Line them up to my left. And of course, you would have that top line erased so it would look a little bit neater on yours. And I'm gonna take, oh, I'm sorry, I said bottom left, but I meant right. I'm taking these guys down to the left now. Okay, there we go. So then we 